Types of Hydraulic Pump What is Hydraulic Pump? A hydraulic pump is a mechanical device that transforms the mechanical energy of the hydraulic fluid into hydraulic power, hydraulic power such as pressure or flow. It is used to produce fluid flow and generate pressure in a hydraulic system. The main function of the hydraulic pump is to flow hydraulic oil by a hydraulic system. It acts as a beating heart of the system. All hydraulic pumps have the following two functions. The hydraulic pumps supply hydraulic flow to other parts, such as hydraulic cylinders, rams, hydraulic motors, etc., of the hydraulic system. These generate a flow that further produces pressure to overcome the flow resistance. Z. Types of hydraulic pump Hydraulic pumps have the following major types. Vane pump External gear pump Lobe pump Screw gear pump Internal gear pump Piston pumps Axial piston pumps Radial piston pump Clutch hydraulic pump PTO hydraulic pump One vane pump a series of vanes slide into rotor slots in a vane pump that revolves inside the pump casing or ring. This casing may have an eccentric shape with respect to the center of the rotor, or it may have an oval shape. In some constructions, centrifugal force causes the vane to make contact with the casing, and the eccentricity of the casing causes the vanes to move inward and outward of the slot. During the working, as the space enclosed by the casing, rotor, and vanes increases, a vacuum generates at the pump inlet. After this, the atmospheric pressure forces the hydraulic fluid into this generated vacuum. When the enclosed space decreases, the hydraulic fluid is pushed to drain through the outlet valve. Advantages of Vane Pump These pumps have good wear characteristics of the veins. Variable capacity of the pump can be designed by changing the angle of the impeller. It delivers a stable flow of hydraulic fluid. Two external gear pump An external gear pump has two gears, driven and driver gears. This pump produces the flow of fluid due to fluid flow between these two gears. These gears mesh with each other. One gear, driver gear, is driven by a driving shaft. Due to the movement of this gear, the idler, driven, gear also starts rotating. The cavity formed between the teeth of these gears is closed by the pump casing and the side plates, also known as wear plates or pressure plates. When the gear teeth are unmesh, a limited vacuum generates at the inlet of the pump. After unmeshing, the fluid starts to move to fill the generated vacuum and is transported out of the pump. When the gears mesh again, the fluid starts to enter again inside the pump. An external gear pump has herringbone gears, helical gears, or straight spur gears. Spur gears are very common in different applications, and they have easy cutting. These gears have a low cost compared to herringbone and helical gears. Super gears have high noise than other gears. Advantages of external gear pump It is the most famous type of hydraulic pump. The gear pump has a very low number of moving components. These pumps are easy to maintain. These have relatively low cost. They can pump contaminated fluids. These are very efficient. 3 lobe pump It is one of the most famous types of hydraulic pumps. It uses more than one lobe. These lobes rotate around a parallel shaft inside the housing of the pump to flow fluids. In a gear pump, one gear drives to the other one, while in the case of a lobe pump, both the lobes are driven by the corresponding drive gears outside the pump housing chamber. These pumps use for applications such as biopharmaceutical manufacturing, beverage and food processing, and hygienic processing industries, etc. Advantages of Lobe Pump A lobe pump can handle pastes, slurries, and solids. It provides a non-pulsating flow. It can operate in a dry condition for a long time. 4-Screw Pump 
it is an axial flow gear pump. The working of this pump is similar to a rotary screw compressor, but the main difference is of the working fluid. The flow through a screw pump takes place axially and in the direction of the driver screw. As the driver screw rotates, the inlet hydraulic fluid or oil surrounding traps between the driver and driven screws. As the screws revolve along the axis, the fluid forces smoothly from one end to another end. The fluid supplied by the screw pump does not rotate but moves linearly. The screws work like an endless piston and always move forward. There are no pulsations even at high speeds. Screw pumps have the following five types that are I. Single screw pump. With a single screw pump, the screw rotor revolves eccentrically in the internal stator. It has only one screw. 2. Twin screw pump. The twin screw pump consists of two parallel screws that mesh with one another. These screws rotate in the pump casing and are machined with tight tolerances. 3. Triple screw pump. The triple screw pump has three screws, one driver and two driven screws. The two driven screws mesh with the other driver screw. These screws rotate in a casing that has been machined to close tolerance. 4. Four screw pump. The working of this hydraulic pump is the same as the twin screw pump. However, this pump has two rotors, and each rotor has two screws. V. Five screw pump. The operation of this pump is the same as the triple screw pump, but it has five screws. Advantages of screw pumps. The screw pumps need low maintenance than other types of pumps. These pumps have the self-priming capability. These can operate in dry condition. A screw pump has a low pulsation. It has high reliability. They have quiet working. They pump the fluids at high speed. 5. Internal gear pump. These hydraulic pumps have internal gears. These pumps have compact and small parts. The internal gear pump has one or two more external gear teeth than the internal gear so these designs have a lower relative speed between the internal and external gears. E.g., if the inner and outer gears have eight and nine teeth, respectively, the inner gear will rotate nine times, and the outer gear will rotate eight times. This low relative speed means a low rate of wear. Advantages of internal gear pump. It has one stuffing box. The internal gear pump has only two moving components. It is perfect for high viscosity fluids. It has a flexible design. 6. Piston Pump A piston pump is a rotating device that uses the working principle of a reciprocating pump to create a flow of fluid. These pumps generally use when higher working pressure of the fluid is needed. They can survive higher pressure compared to a gear pump with the same displacement. Piston pumps traditionally withstand higher pressures than gear pumps with a comparable displacement. But piston pumps have a high price and complex design compared to gear pumps. Equipment designers and maintenance technicians need to understand this complexity to ensure that the other moving components of the piston pump are functioning properly and meet tighter tolerances and stricter filtration requirements. Piston pumps typically use on a truck mounted crane but can also use for other applications, example in snow and ice control, that require changes to the system flow without changing the engine speed. This type of pump has a cylinder and a piston. This piston moves forward and backward in the cylinder of the pump. The movement of this piston pushes the hydraulic oil inside the hydraulic pump. In the first stroke, the pump sucks the fluid from the oil tank and pushes it inside the pump, and in the second stroke, it increases the pressure of the fluid that discharges through the outlet valve. The swash plate angle determines the stroke length of the piston stroke, and the swash plate angle contacts the sliding end of the piston. Advantages of Piston Pump This pump can bear high pressure. It has a closure tolerance. Truck Mounted Cranes these pumps are available in both fixed and variable designs. Smash plates remain static. It has a self-priming ability. It has high efficiency. 7. Axial Piston Pump 
The piston of the axial piston pump rotates in a parallel direction to the center line of the drive shaft of the piston's block. Due to this, the movement of the revolving shaft converts into an axial reciprocating movement. Maximum axial piston pumps are multi-piston pumps that use one-way valves or ports to pump fluid from the suction area to the outlet area. 8. Radial Piston Pump In this pump, the piston is positioned in the radial direction within the cylinder block. These pistons reciprocate perpendicular to the center line of the shaft. These can also classify depending on the arrangement of the pintle valves or one-way valves. Radial piston pumps are accessible in variable and fixed displacements. 9. Clutch Hydraulic Pump the clutch pump is a small positive displacement gear pump that is linked with a belt-driven electromagnetic clutch that is very similar to the air conditioner compressor of the vehicle. It is located on the engine compartment of the truck using a mounting kit to fasten it in place. Clutch pumps are often utilized when a transmission output port is missing or inaccessible. Typical uses of these pumps are hay spikes, cranes, and aerial bucket trucks, etc. Generally, when the pump output flow exceeds 15 GPM, the engine belt will slip under heavy load, and the clutch pump cannot be used in such conditions. Advantages of Clutch Hydraulic Pump Belt Driven A clutch pump is a small displacement pump. These pumps can use for hay spikes and wrecker applications. It doesn't need adjustment. 10 PTO Hydraulic Pump it is a gear type pump that uses for heavy duty applications. It designs for PTO drive applications on all kinds of tractors. PTO hydraulic pump doesn't require additional gearing. It has a high performance aluminum housing and minimal gear play and an end plate that is made of cast iron. The inner splined shaft runs through and is maintained on both ends by roller bearings. Advantages of PTO hydraulic pump PTO hydraulic pump has a self-adjusting wear plate. There are very rare cases of leakage. It has the least gear clearance. It has a casing that is made of high tensile aluminum. This pump doesn't need any extra gearing. Like and subscribe. Our channel. Thanks for watching.